Hello, welcome to this channel. Yes, I'm continuing the series on 2025, and um, in this in this video, I'm going to be, you know, mentioning the third thing the Lord would have us to do. The first that He spoke to us, or the first uh, tip, is to take your freedom and independence seriously. Don't do whatever you can so you don't become a, a, a prisoner of sickness, a prisoner of poverty, or a prisoner of some other circumstance. Do what you can. I know that there are things that, yes, there are times when things are beyond our control, but as much as possible, do all you can to see that in 2025, you are healthy. You are healthy. Because when you are sick, you will not only spend what you have, you may get to a point where you have nothing again and you have to depend on others. That's what will cause, I was hungry, you didn't give me. I was down, you didn't come to see me. Number two, if you have an opportunity, and um, I pray that you have, invest in things that can produce for you. Invest, don't just gamble. Invest in things that can produce. Don't just get it get eat, get eat, you know, eat to live and live to eat. No. Operate with the mindset of Jacob. Operate with the mindset of of uh, Nabal. That's the way. So, um, in this uh, third video, the third part of this message, um, <clears throat> the key is to invest in the future. Think future. Yeah, it might be in 2024, but think 2025. Think 2026. Invest in the future. Invest in the future. Now, there is something that is what we have in, in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus told a parable of the parable of the of the virgins. Ten virgins, five were wise, five were foolish. Those who were wise, they were going to receive this bridegroom, and they took enough oil. They filled their lamps and took spare. They took extra oil. Because they were thinking about the future. They knew that what they have on hand now can finish. So they, they took something, they took extra. They took extra and said, in case, in case, in case. Just say to yourself, in case, in case. So they made some plans to have extra, to have some things set aside for the future. But the, the foolish virgins, virgins, yes, they were pure, but they did not act wisely. They just carried oil and they did not think that anything could happen. They did not think that a delay can happen. Something can happen. Plans can change in 2026. They, I mean, 2025, things can change. Things can, you know, happen the other way. We've seen it in our world. Seasons just come and uh, what you thought would happen didn't happen. In 2022, in many parts of the world, people say, oh, happy new year. This year is going to be wonderful. This year is going to be so good. And we all had great hopes, great expectations for 2020. And then COVID came, shut down. You know, you know there was a, this lockdown and everything was grounded. Nobody expected that in many places, but it happened. So this is where the smart people will think about the future and say, well, we have today, we don't know all that is going to happen tomorrow, so let's have this extra plan, let's have this extra, let's set something aside. So the foolish virgins, because they did not plan, they ended up begging. They ended up begging. So you have their story in a, you know, you have their story in in Matthew 25, the first 13 verses. So they went to those who had oil and said to them, please give us oil. 
Verse 8, And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. <laughs> They all came from the same thing, you know, they, they all came from home. They all, everybody had a chance to prepare for it. The foolish did not think of the future. They didn't think of the future. They were there thinking about the present. Just feel the lamp. They didn't think of there could be a delay, something could happen, something could happen. They just went into the place and uh, there was a delay. The bridegroom did not think when they, you know, when they planned he would come. And so they didn't have oil to take them through. And he turned to please give us some oil. But the wise answered, answered say it, no, we will not give you. Lest there should not be enough for us. You see, they are still thinking about the future. They're still thinking about the future. Before they started, they said, well, we need to have an extra. And now people want to take what they had reserved. Say, no, 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 we don't want to give you, lest there would not be enough for us in the future. They were still thinking about the future. So that's the wisdom here that we need to be futuristic. We need to think about tomorrow. Yeah, I know the Bible says that tomorrow will take care of itself. You know, sufficient to today is the evil thereof. Yes, that's the Bible, but the same Bible also encourages us to plan, you know, to plan. Who will build a house and not sit down to count the cost? You know, but the wife said, no. He said, but go, rather to those who sell, you see, and buy for yourself. So the sellers of oil were at advantage. <laughs> go to those who sell and buy for yourself. The bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to go to the wedding and the door was shut. So the wisdom of thinking ahead, the wisdom of planning ahead, the wisdom of looking ahead. Now that's what happened in Egypt. Um, Pharaoh had a dream in Genesis chapter 41. And then Joseph interpreted the dream. And in the dream, the message of the dream is that seven years of plenty will come. After that, seven years of scarcity will, will follow. And so when Joseph interpreted the dream, he didn't stop with interpreting dream. He gave counsel. He said, this is what Pharaoh should do. Let a wise man be sought and take the produce. Take the produce of the seven years and store it. Don't eat up everything. Now, do you know that? I'm not sure that Pharaoh was just farming. He was buying the produce of the people. You know, they were just buying, 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 and buying, and storing, buying, and storing. And the people were just wondering. They were willing to sell, sell to Pharaoh. They said, collect money, sell, collect money. And they were just selling what they had. And they were not thinking about the future. They didn't know what Joseph knew. They didn't know why Joseph was buying. They didn't know why Pharaoh was buying up everything to stack into the warehouse. They didn't know why this government became suddenly interested. So everybody was willing to sell to the government, you know, sell to the government. Government is buying. And so they were just selling their grains to the government. <laughs> Wait until after the seven years of plenty. Now it was time for the government to sell to the people. <laughs> And not just the people of Egypt, people came from all nations. You see, Egypt had revelation and they prepared. The other nations, the difference is that they didn't know. And so they didn't make preparation. They thought that the years of plenty will continue. And so they didn't store anything. They didn't save anything. Or even if they saved, they didn't save enough because they, they didn't know there was a need for it. Good times are not going to end soon. Everything is going to continue. When just, you know, things are happening for us. And so that was what happened to them. And uh, they squandered the wealth of seven years and now came into world. That's, so that's the, the wisdom of God is that in this season, it is important you know, it's important to it's important to uh, to look ahead. 
says something here. In hard time, fools will be at the mercy of the wise. The wise uh, foresees the future and plans ahead. Fools don't. They are focused on only on now. Fools wake up only when there is uh, when there's a problem. They cannot look beyond good times. So that's what happened to Egypt. You know, they took advantage of the power of forecasting, the power of, you know, seeing the future. So other kings did not see what Pharaoh saw and did not know what he knew. So you don't have to be affected by the famine in the land. You can choose today that you will never have another famine. You know, just take advantage of what God is doing today. Oh, money is coming into your hands. Think future. Think future. Things may never continue the way they are. Things may never continue. This good time may not continue. So you just need to think ahead and do something to see that even if a famine comes, it will not affect you. So <clears throat> what you see today will give you opportunity to build your tomorrow. Today's goodness is the raw material and seed for tomorrow's greatness. Egypt bought and stored to sell. Egypt saved and sought, stored to sell. So that's the same thing. Let's take advantage of the future. Let's think the future. Buy, eat, store, and sell, or eat. But it's all about storing, store something, lay something aside. For the days ahead, and the Lord will bless you. You will not cry in famine. Amen.